morning students this is a unit about measurement so where is things are uh, discussed what are the measurement how we are using how it is uh, useful in our daily life where and all uh, we are following this everything uh, was discussed also uh, there are lot of uh, topics we can discuss for uh, months is a important topic so that's why they are uh, we are having as first unit in that measurement last class we studied various types of measurement like spring balance digital balance ordinary balance physical uh, balance so everything was discussed in last class so after that uh, today we will see about difference between mass and weight so first of all uh, we should know what uh, kinds of matters are there we know different types of matter solid liquid gas are three important matter totally there are five types generally we are using these three types of matters so these matters are made up of uh, atoms and molecules and uh, if you are taking any one object in the object the quantity of matter contained in a body that is called as mass or object eduthona and the object la evlo matter irukko that is called as mass weight eppadi sollana suppose we are standing on ground we are having 50 kg mass so we are giving some force to earth that earth will give some reaction force to us in opposite direction both will be same so our mass is attract towards the gravitation there is a gravitational pull acting on our body or any other body that is called as weight appa mass abadina amount of matter evlo irukko avula da mass but weight abadina in that mass some gravitational force also will be added that is called as weight and there are lot of difference between that that difference we will see in a format of uh, tabulation mass into term ku we are using the letter m and to find the weight we are using the formula m into g mass ayo gravitational force ina multiply panna that is called as weight we know the gravitational field value that is 9.8 meter per second square appo earth la irukum appadina what is the mass of the object into gravitational acceleration given by the earth on earth it is constant 9.8 practically the constant ana illa it will be vary from place to place ground floor second floor edra slight a vary agum but international level we are accepting this value as a constant 9.8 meter per second square okay the same object is in is uh, it on some other planet abdina the weight will be same abdin question keta definitely not so this weight will be vary from place to place depends on the gravitational force so on earth it is 9.8 and other planet even when we are on moon our weight will be change because of the changing acceleration to gravity but at the same time the mass will never change from planet to planet in the planet ponalo mass and value is always will be same okay and uh, there is a problem here and uh, in this uh, question if a man has a mass 50 kg on the earth then what is uh, his weight this is the question and in given data weight is the that is mg mass of the man is 50 kg and to find the weight we having the formula m into g so what is the formula we are using m into g so m is given as 50 and g we have to throw that in question it is not given how to throw that value is so a gravitation given by the earth is always 9.8 meter per second square so 9.8 is multiplied here so 15 into 9.8 is equal to 490 newton so that person having the weight is 490 newton and next here there is a comparison suppose we are considering the gravitation on moon comparing with the earth the moon having the gravitation value which is 1 by 6 times weaker than the earth 1 by 6 times earth avada weaker ah irukke very lesser uh, gravitation force is there and moon uh, we having the acceleration due to gravity value is 1.63 ms per minus 2 if a person which having the mass 70 kg is uh, 
is on the earth his weight is 686 newton so that formula we know that uh, m into g and on the earth its value is uh, 686 newton and same person is on the moon his uh, weight is 114 newton but the mass is same on both the cases so on the earth and the moon the mass will never change the only thing weight will be changed there and next topic it is the difference between mass versus weight it is important question important detail question and, uh, and also useful answer also mass versus weight so first point is mass is a fundamental so we are getting directly and weight is derived quantity we are deriving from some other units and it has uh, mass having scalar quantity there is no direction and weight is a vector it having both magnitude and direction in mass there is no direction only magnitude is there and third point the amount of matter contained in the body is called as mass the weight the normal force exerted by the surface of the earth or land which is acting on the object and this mass is same for everywhere but weight varies from place to place and mass we can measure using the physical balance and weight can measure using the spring balance the unit of mass is kilogram and unit of weight is newton and our last topic is accuracy in measurement so what is mean accuracy accuracy means if we are calculating any one value so that calculated value is different from real value means there is no accuracy and how to find the accuracy so accuracy means the real value should be or almost equal to the calculated value if these two are same we can say there is a accuracy so to measure accuracy is more important in our daily life and how it happens this lack of accuracy is happening due to the faulty instrument or wrong handling or we can say while marking the value we may enter that value as wrong so and also while calibrating any values the surrounding should be made as comfort for example uh, while measuring in physical balance the door should be closed because the external wind may be changed the actu actual value of that measured by physical balance so these things we have to keep it in our mind so it is important to measure the accuracy then only we can give the actual object or actual uh, things to others like uh, buying and selling uh, fruits vegetables etc grocery things we can make it uh, truth in some cases in laboratory we may do continuous mistakes if it arises we can take two or three or four times we can repeat the readings then we can find out we can take the average value as uh, corrected one and it's about uh, the unit number one measurement hope uh, we discussed a lot of things you may learn many things and uh, you may apply this in your daily life if anybody asks uh, related to this unit i think students you are ready to answer about this unit so this unit's answer already i sent uh, as photocopy through whatsapp uh, group so after this unit number one we'll uh, start unit number two the topic name is uh, motion so what is the meaning of motion if is there any opposite word for motion yes uh, we can answer for both the questions students uh, children you may know about uh, motion you may give correct definition uh, for motion yeah what is your imagination is right motion means from time to time the object is displacing from one point to another one point or it is moving from one point to another one point as compared to time this is called as motion and uh, what is the opposite word for motion it is rest another one word is uh, rest 
so rest is uh, opposite to motion so when the object get displaced from one point to another one point with respect to the time that is called as motion uh, that we know already if the object is not get displaced if the object is in same position that is called as rest so what are the examples we can give one for we can give for uh, rest and motion so moving bird uh, is example for uh, motion and uh, yeah, moving aeroplane uh, moving a uh, bike moving car these are the example for uh, motion then what are the example for rest uh, we can say the same flight it is uh, landed on ground it is not moving then we can say it is called as rest yes so like that we can explain so in physics we are explaining the moving object from one point to another point with respect to the time is called as motion the object is not changing its position with respect to the direction time is called as rest and how many times of uh, types of motion are there we'll see uh, now and here there are four types of motion one is linear motion circular motion oscillatory motion random motion so we'll see what is linear motion the object is moving straight when we are walking in a straight line that is called as linear motion so all the moving objects if it is in straight that is called as linear motion circle the object which is uh, making circle uh, we can say the bird is flying in the circular path or uh, in round uh, when we are traveling through cyclar bike is our example for uh, circular motion the oscillatory motion is repeatedly to and fro motion it happen in regular time this is called as oscillatory then random motion so far this uh, there is no such direction it may move in all possible directions there is no uniformity in this these are all four types of the motion so you can mark uh, this uh, question as detail question different types of motion with uh, explanation and next topic is uniform and non uniform motion so uniform motion we can say it is same it is like a same this uniform motion can be defined as when the object is traveling it covers equal distance in equal time means we can say that is called as uniform motion for example uh, a car uh, traveling 60 km per hour uh, speed for one hour so after one hour it will uh, reach 60 km then again for next one hour if it reach another 60 km means and third hour again one more 60 this is called as uniform motion so uniform motion we can say the object which covers equal distances in equal time or in equal interval this is called as uniform motion and non uniform motion is opposite to uniform motion this non uniform motion can be defined as the object or covering the different distances it covers different distances in equal interval for example when we are comparing first one ha another one car it crossed uh, 50 km and second ha it crosses 40 km and third ha 80 km see first ha is 50 then 40 slows down then third ha it crosses 80 km then we can say its speed is more then we can say it covers unequal distance there is no equality so this motion is called as non uniform motion so for this you can mark the answer uniform motion you can mark up to here and for non uniform uh, you can mark this exam the motion of a bus non uniform that is travel unequal distance of uh, equal interval and for definition you can mark uh, answer an object uh, from here to up to here Uh, so in activity they given in free road when we are moving with uh, equal uniform motion or non uniform motion that is up to us but in traffic zone in more traffic congested area definitely that should be a non uniform motion okay the next uh, topic is distance and displacement and say the next uh, topic is distance and displacement and to explain that uh, we having a figure 2.1 and see the figure uh, this 2.1 uh, figure uh, say the object starting point is a and it is moving like a curvy road and it reaches the point uh, b and now 
the distance traveled between A to B is uh, as per curvy road. How the person traveling? We are taking, we are calculating as per that route means that is called as distance. Suppose we are calculating, we are considering only the distance between initial to final. That means we are saying the shortest distance between the two points is called as the displacement. And there is a definition for distance. The actual length of the path traveled by a body with irrespective of their position, direction. Irrespective of the direction, not a position. Irrespective of the direction is called as distance traveled by the body. It is measured uh, in unit uh, meter in SI and it is uh, scalar quantity having only magnitude not a direction. So here the direction is not a matter. So it is uh, not uh, considered here. In displacement it is defined as change in position of your body at particular direction or we can say the shortest distance between the two point here it is vector. It is unit also same uh, like uh, distance meter only but it having both the magnitude and direction. This is called as the displacement. So speed is nothing but next we will uh, see about the speed is related to distance and the displacement how it is relating and which one we are using speed we will uh, see now. Speed is nothing but it is a quantity which shows how fast the object or vehicle is moving it is called as speed and this speed we can implement we can use this formula on the moving body not a resting one. If it is resting one means we can say that speed is zero. The speed can be defined as the rate of change of distance A distance traveled in unit time this is called as speed. It is a scalar quantity, its unit is ms for minus 1. We can use the formula for the speed is distance traveled by time taken. This is the formula for speed and here there is answer for uh, speed as a 2 mark question define speed from here to here okay and uh, we can uh, mark the previous uh, one. For a distance and displacement you can mark uh, fully. So from uh, here to here distance and define displacement we can mark up to here two questions we marked and uh, so till this speed will uh, close this class and remaining topics we will uh, discuss in next class and for homework you write uh, the answer from previous chapter the tabulation alone. Uh, see this tabulation in from unit 1 mass versus weight you can uh, thorough this answer all the six points like a tabulation thorough this and write it in on your homework note then send that photocopy to my personal whatsapp number okay thank you students